There's something about the Owens Valley that a man will never... Oh, he may go away for a little while, but he's back. The fishing's dream. Hunting. Skiing. And the challenge of the climb. And some just come to relax and dream their dreams of today, tomorrow, or yesterday. The valley has the newest range of mountains in the United States, the Sierra Nevada. And the oldest, the crumbling but still magnificent Alabamas. It has its cold, pure streams, its sparkling blue mountain lakes, And to the east of the mighty snow-capped Sierra Nevada, the regal white mountains gaze benignly down across the beautiful valley toward Bishop, far below. Bishop, located in Inyo County in East Central California on Highway 395, geographically located due east from Fresno, across the Sierra as the crow flies. Bishop is a thriving town on the high desert with its beautiful tree-lined streets and its recreational activities available to visitors. To the east of Bishop, high atop the White Mountains, stands a battalion of monarchs, a ghostly battalion, ancient even at the birth of Christ. Gnarled and twisted patriarchs of over 4,000 howling winters and dry summers. The 4,000-year-old sentinels of history. Adversity, these most underprivileged of all creation have fought time in the elements, have battled death for over 4,000 years, and have fought him to a standstill. The bristlecone pines, the oldest known living things on earth, older than the famed sequoia. Storm clouds heading east are drained of rain and snow by the towering Sierra Nevada dropping a scant 10 inches of moisture on these gallant bristle cones of the White Mountains, denying them of the life-giving water and sending instead the howling gusts of winter and the dryness of summer. Because of the brilliant research carried on by Edmund Schulman, professor of dendrochronology at the University of Arizona, the grove was dedicated to him by the United States Forest Service, the Edmund Schulman Memorial Grove. Dr. C.W. Ferguson of the University of Arizona has carried on the research since the passing of Dr. Schulman. Among his many scientific studies in the grove is the taking of borings to determine the age of the trees. Man should enter the grove with reverence. This is the land of giants. The past still lives here, stubbornly, gallantly. And from all over the country they come, the tourists, 
professors, the students, even the newlyweds. Let's go with them. It's a trip you won't forget. From Highway 395, we turn east on Westgard Pass Road. Once an old mining trail to claims in the Cedar Flat area. Once rugged, savage, and difficult. Now easy riding, safe, and pleasant. In 1873, the trail was improved and the Deep Springs Valley Toll House was built. Funny what folks can hear and see when they want to. Just a hundred years into the past, and we've still got a long way to go. A long, long way. Cedar Flat, with its cedar and pinion pines and deserted mining claims. What dreams of wealth and power and glory died here. What lonely miner breathed his last with only the whisper of the pinion and the cedar to mourn his passing? Flowers of a hundred different hues and colors grow along the old Westgard Pass Road. One mile above the Owens Valley is the Sierra Point Turnoff. Beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain. The American West, still wild, still proud, still unconquerable, breathes there a man with soul so dead who will not say, this is my own my native land. To the north, near Mammoth Lakes, the jagged and towering minarets rise majestically to the skies, pointing into space, into the eternity of time. The eternal ice and snow of the Palisade Glacier, southernmost glacier in the United States, glistens in silent splendor, contributing its shining beauty to this country of ours. Deep Springs Valley, with its alkaline lake, lays nestled below the gray-green of the Inyo Mountains. There's peace here, peace, contentment, and a sense of being close 
to that which is eternal. And finally at 10,000 feet, far above Bishop in the Owens Valley, we enter Shulman Grove, the ancient ghost forest of the ages. This grove of 28,000 acres in the Inyo National Forest was set aside by the United States Forest Service in 1958 as a botanical area for scientific study and for the enjoyment of the public. As you enter the ancient bristlecone pine forest, you'll see two species of pine. The limber pine, which has needles that grow in short tufts at the end of the branchlets, and the bristlecone, whose needles run back along the branchlets, giving them the appearance of foxtails. Of the two, the bristlecone is the older. This one is called pine alpha. This ancient tree, over 4,300 years old, was born almost at the same time as the great pyramids of Egypt were being constructed. It was a middle-aged gentleman of 2,000 years when Nebuchadnezzar built one of the wonders of the world, the Hanging Gardens. A mellowing 2,336 years of age at the birth of Christ. This aging general in the Battalion of the Ancients through the centuries has allowed a part of itself to die so that another part might live on to fight the harsh elements that battle to kill it. And as a reward for its struggle to live, Mother Nature has placed a tiny cluster of wild flowers at its feet in salute to a gallant warrior. This ancient warrior has only a 10-inch strip of bark and living tissue, less than 10% of it still alive. Yet this living part fights on and produces seed from which new trees will grow. Two miles up the trail from Shulman Grove is Methuselah Walk. Nine of these gallant trees are over 4,000 years old and still fighting for survival. And here on Methuselah Walk, we find the great granddaddy of them all, Methuselah himself. Over 4,600 years of tremendous will to live. In 1956, a portion of this tree was cut for study. This tree was a good-sized youngster, 2,000 years before Christ. In about 500 BC, at the fourth pin, the Persian Darius was mobilizing his armies to fight the Greeks. And here at the second pin, Charlemagne's survivors were fighting over the Holy Roman Empire. The outermost ring grew in 1956. And 12 miles to the north of Shulman Grove is the Patriarch Grove. Some of the largest bristle cones are here. Some of the largest, the weirdest, and the most grotesque. These ghostly sentinels stand like silent legions in the Valley of the Moon. With Patriarch, a 1,500-year-old youngster, as their leader. Time stinging sands, choking ice, and scorching fire have molded these old veterans into objects of weird and startling beauty. Ghostly hands stretch heavenward in a mute appeal for water to give them strength and the warmth of the sun to give them life.
And strangely enough, the stubborn tenacity, the fight for life fought for centuries by these trees has been a boon to science, to humanity. Their longevity has made these ancient monarchs living recorders of weather conditions and fluctuations for more than 40 centuries. Through the study of their growth, it's possible that the scientists will be able to shed some light on the water problems plaguing California and the Southwest. At least, the story of their fight for survival should be an inspiration to us all. this forest there's a lesson to be learned and a truth to be realized. In spite of adversity and the most rugged living conditions, this gallant battalion has lived on for more than 40 centuries. Perhaps we might even say because of adversity they have lived on. Perhaps all living things, including man, depend upon adversity for growth and development to a well-balanced maturity. 4,000 years after birth, this ancient battalion still stands in silent meditation, gazing at the breathtaking beauty of the Sierra across the Owens Valley. From the day of the Pharaoh to the Space Age, they have fought the good fight. Let us dip our flags and hold our lances high and salute to this ghostly battalion, these mighty warriors of the ages, the bristlecone pine.